TV5 is your school authority. Several districts went back to school today, but in other countries, school went back weeks ago. How's it been so far? Good question. Here's Joe Chiodo. We first reported on South Korea's return to school in May. At first, things were going well. Tonight, we have some new information. South Korea is now suspending their in-person classes in nearly 2,000 schools across the nation due to the continued surge in coronavirus cases. The country's Ministry of Education announcing that decision on Monday. Since May, 283 students and 79 faculty tested positive for the virus. That sounds low to us, but keep in mind there have been only 1,700 cases and 300 deaths in South Korea since the pandemic began. Now, in the United States, we're at about 5.7 million cases and 177,000 deaths. The United States population is more than six times the size of South Korea. But even when you consider that and level the playing field, breaking it down by population, our cases and deaths are much higher. For every 100,000 people in the U.S., 54.4 people die of COVID. For every 100,000 people in South Korea, just 0.6 die of COVID-19. Now, experts say what's happening in South Korea proves that spread within schools will happen, but they hope wearing masks and distancing will keep it from becoming a full-on outbreak. If you have a good question you want answered, email me at goodquestion at kctv5.com.